We begin today's show with the Comfab Theatre Director Nwadu Alayonde's big, bold move for the big stage. Entertainment News was there for the debut in Lagos, and we bring you details now. Drama, humor, power tussle, diplomacy, and ethnic favoritism all come to play at the official debut of the Confab. Theatre director Wando Alayande's first bold move into the wider creative space after testing the waters with private audiences. African timing. When you call something for 2 p.m., then it will start for 7 p.m. My uh, brother from yeah, across the Niger. You, are not late at all. you see, I had to use common sense. So <laughs> if I not pass one way, why come in here? The political satire explores the nature of humans as political beings with diverse interests and challenges. Democracy. Yes. yes. Democracy. Democracy. Yes. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Right. Like I was saying. So the <laughs> next thing. One fifth. What is it? Where am I? Ah. Hey. <laughs> where am I? Madame I just had a little Unadro, Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Marcy. It was money. Money was on my mind. The 17 man cast, the play fuses comedy with witty dialogue and conflict as representatives and delegates from the various geopolitical zones of the country gather with the sole aim of sharing the proverbial national cake. But first, they must give account of their stewardship. As a part of my contribution to the development of my own region, I have built a mega health center for my people. God, 2 .1 billion. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? My people are very happy with me. No, we are not happy. Speak for yourself. Sure. And Mr. Speaker, how can you say you commission a mega health center that does not have doors? Wait. See, even commission a mega health center that does not have them. What sort of mega health center is that? Patrick Diabois is at the helm of affairs as the speaker and moderator of proceedings. But you will agree with me that even though we are many, we are one Nigeria. One Nigeria. Yes. Whether we are from the north, the west, the east, or the south south, we are one Nigeria. One Nigeria. A play highlights some issues in the society, including the ills of social media, disregard for the law, poor education system, as well as a power tussle between the older and younger generations. With all due respect, Mr. Speaker, I need to take one more for the ground, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Well, yes. It is our cake, and we have come here to share it. But before we do that, it's very important, but before we do that, there are other important things that we need to do. It's satire, it's slapstick more or less about Nigeria and Nigerians, um, the way we treat the country, the way what we do to our country. So it's not about the politicians, and it's not by, about the layman, it's about, about everybody really. That's what it's all about, you know, it's a story about what we are doing and uh, what we shouldn't be doing. You know, and then we pack, pass the book. We keep saying, no, it's you, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. And at the end of the day, really, it's everybody's fault, you know. <laughs> there is no scapegoat. Everybody is a scapegoat. At the climax of the confab is the ultimate desecration of the cake. Wait, wait, come on, decorum, all of you. There is something on the agenda, for God's sake. What is wrong with you people? No, honestly, what is wrong with you people? The story is one that I quite enjoy. Like I will tell people that anytime I get the chance to do something 
related to Nigeria, when I get a job that has to do with talking about Nigeria, I'm always very passionate about it because I grew up in a Nigeria that was not as negative as what we have today. And if only I can have a glimpse of that again before I move on. I'm really very excited about the work because uh, I know that a lot of people will be touched and they will feel the need, even if it's just for a, another one week, to, to be patriotic. However, it turns out that all hope is not lost. Let us mend defenses. And let us build the bridges. This is all that we have. This is all that we are. It's back in our hands now.